In our very first story, former Minister of Finance, Professor Kwesi Bochui, has asked government to streamline its decision-making process as well as clarify the complementary rules of Ministers of State. Citizens as well would have to state their concerns about the inadequacies in legislations and legal institutions or about their breach instead of referring to every public officer as corrupt. Chrissy Butry was speaking at the third Distinguished Speakers Series at the Central University College. Professor Chrissy Butry said the talk of corruption has been loudly strained and that to make the conversation constructive, Ghanaians will have to avoid filling the air with unreliable evidence. We need to avoid filling the air with anecdotal evidence of self-seeking we need to define what we mean by corruption and avoid tainting just about everybody in public office as a crook. The renowned economist said though the country has laws fashioned after best practices, Ghanaians will have to decide whether it is with the legislation or the breaches they have issues with. He suggested dealing with obvious high-profile corruption cases swiftly. Professor Butchie said for credible economic policies, there is a need to clarify and streamline the roles of mainline ministers against ministers of state. In the area of economic management, it will seem that there is a need for streamlining the processes for decision making and for clarifi the clarification the ministers of state in the presidency for instance of the cabinet and the complementary roles of the national development planning commission the ndpc and that of the ministry of finance these, he said, would be the surest way of curbing the influence of informal layers of power, faceless influence peddlers who hold no formal offices and are therefore not accountable.